to attempt to do my very first actual ASMR video. Um, I made my channel like three weeks ago. I've been meaning to make it for like three years anyway. So I made it, just kind of threw up like a little, um, just a tiny video of me talking just to see if I was even comfortable doing this. Um, so that said, this is going to be my first actual um, video. So please, please give me your feedback, give me your comments, whatever. Um, if I'm too loud, I can't tell yet. It really depends also on how loud you listen to things. Um, this is of course lo-fi, y'all. This is my phone, this is my iPhone. And uh, let's just see how this goes. Now, I'm a 90s kid. Um, southern 90s kid, I should say. And this was my favorite little golden book. 90s kids love little golden books, or they used to, I guess. Maybe I was a 90s teen as well. I had boomer parents. How about that? This was one of my favorite books. The store-bought doll. Now, in my childhood home, um, our house was shaped like the roof had a was shaped like a barn so my bedroom had a slanted wall and in the slanted wall was a dormer window and the dormer window was I don't know it was probably at least a foot deep the actual windowsill and I would prop myself on my elbows with this book up and read it to my cabbage patch dolls so now I'm gonna read it to you this isn't my original. I got this one off of, it looks like eBay, doesn't it? But I think I got it off Amazon. This has been added since by our pug, Maggie. He likes to taste everything. So, there's Maggie's addition to this book. Okay. Here we go. If it's your night time, sweet dreams. Enjoy the store bought doll by Lewis Mayer, illustrated by Ruth Sanderson, and it was made in 1983. I was not made in 83, I was made only a few years ago. Once there was a girl named Christina who lived on a farm with her mother and father. skipping rope and a calico bean bag. Fun fact, the wallpaper in my childhood bedroom was also yellow flower. <gasps> I'm having fun little memories popping up. Okay. Best of all, she had a rag doll named Lucy that her mother had named for her. Isn't that sweet? We're outside with the dog. A home isn't a home without a doll, y'all. Every morning, Christina helped milk the cow and feed the chickens. Then she helped dry the dishes and sweep the kitchen. And every afternoon, Christina played with Lucy. She gave Lucy rides in the old wheelbarrow. She had tea parties with Lucy. They used walnut shells for cups and little flat rocks for pretend cookies. I did that too. Walnut shells make the best little bowls and cups. Throw back to your children. She climbed the apple tree with Lucy and told her special secrets.
Christina took Lucy to bed with her. She hugged Lucy and held her tight until they both fell asleep. One day, a man came to Christina's house. He was wearing a fine suit and a silk tie. I'm having trouble with my automobile, he told Christina's father. May I borrow some tools? Of course, <clears throat> said Christina's father. Maybe I can help you too. He got his toolbox from the shed, and he and the man went down the road to fix the car. I think that was an exciting day for the car. A little while later, Christina's father and the man drove up in a shiny automobile. Thank you again, said the man, as Christina's father got out of the car. Glad I could help, said Christina's father. The next day, the man in the automobile came back. You were so kind to help me yesterday, he said. I wanted to give you something in return. I brought a present for your little girl. It was a china doll. It had blue eyes that opened and closed and silky yellow hair and rosy cheeks and lips. It had on a pink satin dress with pearl buttons and a real leather slippers. Christina could hardly believe her eyes. So beautiful, she said. I never had a real store-bought doll before. Oh, thank you. All the grown-ups sat on the porch and drank lemonade. Christina ran off to play with her new doll. She left Lucy lying in a heap on the steps. Christina brushed the doll's silky yellow hair. She unbuttoned all the pearl buttons on the pink dress, then she buttoned them up again. She rocked the doll in her arms and watched its eyes close and open. She couldn't give the china doll a ride in the wheelbarrow because she was afraid the pink satin dress would get dirty. She couldn't have a tea party with the china doll because she was afraid the walnut shells and rock cookies would scratch its rosy cheeks and lips. And she couldn't climb the apple tree with the china doll because she was afraid the doll would fall and break. Late in the afternoon, Christina stood on the porch with her mother and father and waved goodbye to the kind man as he drove away. And that night, after she ate supper and had a bath, Christina put the beautiful new doll in the corner of her room. Then she crept downstairs and picked up dear old Lucy. She took Lucy up to bed and held her tighter than ever until they both fell asleep. The end. So that is the story of the store-bought doll. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to make more videos for you soon. So, goodbye from Satisfying Lullaby ASMR. Sweet dreams.